A gene is a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. It fits together like this. A full strand of the double helix forms a colored pattern. But the other strand always pairs up the same way. A blue base always goes with yellow, and green always goes with red. Because only those colors have the right shape to fit together. What Crick and Watson realized was that this provides a mechanism for passing on the genetic code. When cells reproduce, the two strands of DNA separate, ready to be copied. But red still goes with green, and yellow still goes with blue. So, bit by bit, the cell creates two new strands, two perfect copies of the entire genetic code. So far, there's no genetic variation. This new copy is identical to the original. But here's the interesting bit. During the copying process, something very important can happen. Sometimes, mistakes creep in. They're called mutations. Let's have a look at these two bases here. The two prongs that hold them together are subatomic particles, they're protons. They're basically the bonds between the strands of DNA. These protons can jump across to the other side. If the strands split when the protons have jumped across, they find themselves in the wrong position. Now, this red base will no longer bind to a green base. Instead, it has to bond to a yellow base. Slotting this back in, we see that now this copy is no longer identical to the original because I have a yellow base here instead of a green one. We've brought in a genetic mutation.